Life and death depend on this discourse. That's what makes the Gita special. That's what is happening on the battlefield. Beautiful, breathtaking, real. Acharya next question is from a 47 year old software programmer from US. He is saying, Pranam Acharya ji, I find that I have many weaknesses within. With these weaknesses, can I accept that huge challenge of internal transformation? I have made so many mistakes in life. And spirituality, as you say, is a fire. With all my impurities, how will I be able to tolerate this fire? What else is needed to put through fire? You are not going to put Atma through fire, are you? It's your impurities you need to put through fire. Exactly that. Exactly that. Hmm? And even when you put yourself through fire, let me console you a bit, you need to put yourself through only as much fire as you can afford. That's why I talked of small daily battles. If you think of massive oceans of fire and envision yourself swimming through them, then you won't even begin. Huh? So don't fantasize too much. There are impurities within, they need to be burnt down and you have to do it. And if you are sincere, you will do it at a pace that is both affordable and high, which means as high as possible. You will not take up unreasonable projects, fail in them and then surrender to the wrong master. And on top of that, proclaim martyrdom. Oh, I fought a huge battle. Oh, I fought such a huge battle. All of you are busy fighting your petty battles. I fought a huge battle and was defeated. And I was defeated for good. I was actually slaughtered. Now I do not fight any battles. In fact, taking up an unreasonable challenge is a cunning way to avoid all future challenges. Take up an unaffordable challenge. Obviously, lose it. And then declare, oh, I am not good enough or the challenge is just too much. So I am not going to try any further or any harder. Hmm? No. If you are sincere, you don't want to lose. If you are sincere, you don't want to keep winning petty battles either. So it's a it's a delicate thing. Do you see the rope walk? On one hand, I don't want to pick too big a battle. On the other hand, I know if I keep picking very feeble challenges, then I won't grow at all. So it has to be a very wise balance. A very wise balance leaning towards adventurism, leaning towards boldness. Leaning towards suspense. You cannot pick up a challenge that you are just too sure to win. Is it a challenge at all then? So pick up a challenge where you are a little uncertain. Will I succeed? Will I fail? And then 
succeed. Hmm? Let there be some thrill. Otherwise, what's the joy in winning? And if there is no joy in winning, what will you fall in love with? Nobody can fall in love with boredom. I woke up in the morning and my to-do consists of picking this mug up two times. And I win every day. But Acharya Ji, I am not falling in love with the ultimate. You mug. <laughs> hmm? Assured victories don't help. Assured defeats don't help either. Play a thrilling game. Hmm? Play a game that's just a little beyond your capacity, your means. And then win it. Every day. A little beyond, not too much. If it's too much, then... Yes. So with this, with, with great respect and gratefulness and love, we have come to the end of Mundak Upanishad. Obviously it is no end. It's a great beginning. The Upanishad is going to remain with us and we are going to return to the Upanishad again and again. But as I read the last verse and the Shanti part, my mind actually overflows with deep gratefulness for the sages who handed this over to us. We will keep returning to the gift they have given. We hope we are deserving of the gift. <laughs>